Hey, what's going on Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and the second week of Destiny 2 Beyond Light has officially begun. And of course, along with that, at today's reset came the second part of the Destiny 2 Beyond Light launch content, Season of the Hunt. And in this video, we're very briefly going to be talking about this brand new season of content, the new activity, Wrathborn Hunts that have come alongside it, and some tips to help you get those lore charges maybe a little bit faster. Now, if you can't tell from the sound of my voice, I've been a little bit under the weather, which is why the videos have been a little bit slow as of late. And thus, since I've only got a limited amount of voice to use, we're going to be going through this very quickly. Now, after you've logged into the game, you'll go through a very quick initial questline to kind of get you up to speed with what's going on in the Destiny universe. That'll eventually take you to the Tangled Shore, where you'll be meeting up with your brand new vendor, the Crow who will serve as your main liaison when it comes to the Wrathborn Hunt activities. Now, the Wrathborn Hunts themselves function kind of similar to the Nightmare Hunts from Shadowkeep, but with a couple of interesting twists turned in. He'll give you a brand new quest item titled the Cryptolith Lure, and this is actually going to function similar to the Chalice of Opulence we had that was used to curate and cultivate rewards you could get from the Menagerie activity. And Guardians, it's basically the exact same system, but this time featuring mods instead of seals. With this, you can curate the stats on your weapons. There's a mod that makes it so that armor that you're getting from Wrathborn Hunts will drop at a higher stat level. You can curate the perks that you get on weapons by excluding specific perks, or forcing the inclusion of specific perks and stats that you want to get on your weapon rolls. It's a system I absolutely loved in the Menagerie. It's one of the things that made that one of the best activities Bungie has ever done. And I'm really happy to see it return here from Wrathborn Hunts. But alright, moving on, you'll be able to purchase these mods to use on your Cryptolith lure directly from the Crow himself as you upgrade your reputation with him. Which of course you'll be able to do once you've farmed up some recon data which you receive as a reward for completing Wrathborn hunts. You'll also get a decent amount of recon data from the Season Pass itself if you're a Season Pass owner. So once you've gotten some recon data, you'll be able to upgrade your reputation with the Crow and buy more mods. But before all that, you'll be tasked with getting the lore so that you can actually take on one of these Wrathborn hunts. And the way you can farm those up is by playing core activities. So playlist stuff like the Strike playlist, the Gambit playlist, and the Crucible playlist all have a chance to drop lures. Or rather, I should say drop a percentage towards getting a full lure. For the very first lure that you get as part of the questline here, you'll only really need to get one drop in either Gambit, Crucible, or the Strike playlist. But after that, when you're farming up subsequent lures, you'll need to play multiple strikes, multiple games of Gambit, or multiple matches in the Crucible. Thankfully, there seem to be some hopefully rotating challenges that can make this process a little bit faster. For instance, getting precision kills in strikes, as well as defeating powerful opponents in strikes, currently nets you more points towards obtaining a lure, so running strikes might be the fastest way to get this done now. Either way, I just ran into Mayhem. It's live this week, those matches go by super quickly, especially with all the stasis nonsense, and it makes farming up lures really quick and easy. After the initial quest, you'll be able to store up to three lures on the Cryptolith lore itself, meaning you'll be able to do a maximum of three Wrathborn hunts before you have to go and start farming for lures again. And so with this, you see the way the Wrathborn hunt rotation is supposed to work. You go, you farm up lures by playing core activities in Strikes, Crucible, or Gambit, you build those lures up, you head out, you do your Wrathborn hunt, you get the legendary rewards and recon data for completing those, which allows you to upgrade your reputation with the Crow, granting access to more mods and more benefits for your lures that you then go back to farming in those core playlists. It's certainly a neat rotation that's going to keep a lot of Guardians busy for a while, especially considering there is very specific loot you get from Wrathborn Hunts, and you can curate, again, once you've unlocked some of these mods, you can curate the perks and the stats that come on the weapons and armor that you get from Wrathborn Hunts. It's a good system, and the three or four hunts I've done thus far have been a lot of fun. But anyways, once you've farmed up a lure, you can go ahead and fit that onto the Cryptolith itself which will then allow you to place that lore at a hive cryptoglyph and summon the Wrathborn enemy you're hunting down. Now, initially it's going to summon a servitor, and once you've dealt enough damage to that servitor, it's going to lead you on a merry chase where you actually have to hunt this thing down. And you'll be able to do so by following the green splotches on the ground that will lead you right where you need to go. 
Once you've done so, you'll load into an instance mission where you take down that servitor and then it finally spawns the Wrathborn enemy you're looking for. Now, these boss battles are fairly simple. Part of the way through your fight, they'll spawn major level enemies that have kind of a green misty glow all over them. When you take those enemies down, they will drop a well. Standing in that well will allow you to break the Wrathborn boss's shield and deal bonus damage to them. So make sure you're keeping an eye out for those enemies, take down that boss, collect your rewards, and then head back to the Crow. And that, Guardians, is pretty much how the Wrathborn hunts are going to work. Again, as you continue to upgrade your reputation with the Crow, you'll be unlocking more and more bonuses that will allow you to further customize your lore so that you can give it abilities like uh, doubling the amount of powerful drops you get from completing Wrathborn hunts every week, increasing the drop rate of lore so you don't have to play quite as many games of Gambit, and all kinds of other things. There's even a mod available here that makes it so beneficial modifiers will be active in Wrathborn hunts. So it's definitely going to be worth it to fully upgrade this thing in the future. But there we go, Guardians. That is how the new Wrathborn hunts introduced in the Season of the Hunts can be done. This is a really interesting new activity. It's got some really interesting new weapons. There's even a wave frame grenade launcher in there, which is definitely something we've been missing since the sundial went away a year ago. So, get out there and start farming those lures. Again, Mayhem is live right now, and if you don't want to go into strikes and maybe do some of those precision kills, Mayhem games go really, really quickly. And the faster these games end, the faster you're farming up the lures so you can go on these Wrathborn hunts. Another really quick way to get your lures charged, if you happen to have a fire team or some randoms who are uh, friendly, you can actually load into a strike by just selecting a strike off of, you know, any kind of destination map, run into a nearby lost sector, and take out the major level enemies in there. A great example of this would be the Lake of Shadows in the EDZ. You can load that up, head over to the Widow's Walk Lost Sector that everybody was farming to get their power level up, take out the powerful enemies in there until your lure is fully charged. Because right now you're getting bonus charge for taking out powerful enemies in strikes, this is working really, really well. But, you know, don't be a dick and, like, randomly load up into a strike. Leave your fire team and go do this on your own. If you want to do this sort of thing, make your own curated fire team, load up into a strike, and all of you guys can run in there and get this done. Otherwise, it might still just be faster if you're a solo player to just jump into Mayhem and go and charge it that way. But alright, Guardians, that is it for this one. The season of the Hunt just started. We've got the Hawkmoon exotic quest coming soon, the raid at the end of this week, the lament exotic quest is probably going to be going live uh, maybe sometime after that, so there's plenty of things to cover, but I have got to give my voice a rest. Thank you all so much for watching. If the video helped, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. I hope you Guardians enjoyed, and as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.